Let's make an outdoor project using plastic bottles. First, we need to cut off all the big pieces of each bottle. I will also be using a piece of cardboard to create a pattern for my petals. The petals can be as big or as small as you want them. For this project, I want them to be big enough so that I can see the flowers from far away. I'm using a permanent marker and I'm also tracing on the side that has all the labels. My petals are now ready for the next step. The smooth side is what will be facing you. I have arranged all my flowers and I will be using six petals per flower. For the center, I will be cutting out a circle about this size for each of the flowers. I will be cutting two circles, one for the front and one for the back of each flower. This is going to help it stabilize it even more. So my circles are ready and now I'm going to flip all my petals so we can see how they're going to look. But I can tell you already that these are going to look so pretty once they are finished. This is such a nice pretty yellow. I also found me three caps that I'm going to use later on. So I'm going to turn all my other petals around so I can keep on working on the next step. And they're looking so nice already. Now I just want to make sure that they are nicely aligned before I work in the center of each flower. Now let's glue the circles to the front and the back and this is going to keep it all in place. I want to make sure that I add plenty of hot glue. This is plastic and again it's stubborn and it will tend to shift. I just love creating crafts out of plastics like these. I know that they're going to last a very long time. And I'm not just decorating my backyard but I'm also recycling. So it's a win-win for me and for the environment. So again, I want to make sure that I use plenty of hot glue on the back as well. This is a very easy project that you can create any time of the year. And you get to enjoy your flowers all year round, rain or shine. So this flower is looking ready. And I could either leave it like this or I could add some stamen to it and make it a little more realistic. But before I do that, I'm going to add more glue all around my circles. I want to make sure that I seal it so there are no open crevices where any bugs or anything else could get in there. Now I'm going to add some stamen to the center of it. And all I did was cut very thin strips on different sizes that I will be gluing to the middle of it. About three stem per petal should do it. And I will be repeating the same thing on all six petals. So this looks great. And now it's time to add the cap. And this will be the final detail to it. This is a perfect color for the center of this orange flower. I want to make sure that I add enough pressure since I'm dealing with a few layers now and this needs to be nice and glued together so it holds nicely. When using hot glue, I usually like to apply pressure for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to add some more glue all around again to make sure that there are no open crevices and to make sure that everything is holding even stronger. My flower is looking great and it is almost finished. I'll just add a little bit more glue just to make sure that I cover every single open area. So my flower is now done. What do you guys think? I think it came out great. Front looks good, the back looks good, and don't worry about all those labels because they are not going to be showing. So my flowers are now ready and we are going to take them to my backyard. Let's just grab some screws and a screwdriver. So here's the final product hanging in its new home. I really love how this project turned out and the fact that I will be able to see them every single day from my kitchen. I plan to make more of these so that I can display them all along my fence. I hope you liked this video and if you did, go ahead and give me a like, comment and share to keep on spreading the word about recycling. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.